Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Bookwrite and I'm back with another Ready, Set, Hold. In this video I'm going to be covering five or maybe six, I don't remember how many I have, <laughs> new releases that are coming out in November. So that way you guys can put it on your hold list now at your local library. All of the books that I am talking about come out on either November 7th or November 14th. I'm assuming this is because publishers want to make sure their big books are out before the holiday season gets started here in the United States, uh, which is usually, you know, right around Thanksgiving time for us. So yeah, I have a handful of books here, so let's jump right in. So the first book I want to talk about is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Marissa Marissa Meyer is best well known for her young adult series The Lunar Chronicles which started off with Cinder. Um, it was basically like fairy tale retellings told in like a futuristic world. I really love the series a whole lot. So I don't know too much about the series but I know that it takes place in a future society again and there is this group of people called renegades who are people with like extraordinary abilities who are able to sort of come up from the ruins of society and you are following this girl named nova who has a reason to hate the renegades um, and then she comes across this guy named adrian who is a renegade but he seems to be a renegade who wants to help Nova or something along those lines but Nova is is someone who works for like a villain or something along those lines. Yeah like I said I really love the Lunar Chronicles. The Lunar Chronicles are crazy crazy popular books um, so I'm assuming that a lot of people are really eagerly anticipating Marissa Meyer's next series so if you are interested in it as well it comes out on November 7th so put it on hold at your local library now. The next book I want to highlight also comes out on November 7th and that is Bonfire by Kristen Ritter. This is a mystery thriller book and if the name Kristen Ritter sounds familiar to you. Uh, she is an actress. She's probably best well known for playing Jessica Jones in the Netflix series. I'm a big fan of hers and I've been hearing really positive buzz around this book. You are following this woman who is an environmental lawyer. She grew up in like this small town in Indiana um, and she ends up moving to Chicago for her job but then a case ends up bringing her back to the small town and the life that she's like built for herself outside of this small town starts to fall apart a little bit. Yeah like I said it's a mystery thriller. I've been hearing really positive things about this book and since Kristen Ritter is you know relatively well-known actress I, I have a feeling they're might be a pretty decent whole list on this book. I'm really excited about it. Next up we have Artemis by Andy Weir. This one is coming out on November 14th. Um, I know a lot of people are really looking forward to this one. Andy Weir wrote The Martian which was obviously a huge bestseller made into a movie etc etc. Um, this is another book set in space. Basically the way that I've heard this book pitched is that it's a heist that takes place on the moon which I don't think anyone needs any more information than that. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Also, Rosario Dawson is narrating the audiobook for this, which is pretty cool. So if you are someone who really likes audiobooks, this is one that you might want to put on hold relatively soon. Uh, so that way you can be at the top of the hold list and listen to Rosario Dawson narrate this book. Or if you are not an audiobook person but you just want the physical copy, again, Andy Weir is a name. A lot of people really really love The Martian, including myself, and are really looking forward to this one. And again, that comes out on November 14th. Then I have Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book in the Stormlight Archive series. Brandon Sanderson is a huge name, especially in the fantasy world. Um, I feel like there are always so many people who are reading his books and getting into a series. Obviously this is a third book in the series, so if people aren't caught up with the series they might not be as like eagerly anticipating this one, but I have a strong feeling that if you are a Brandon Sanderson fan, uh, you're going to want to put this one on hold now so you can continue on with the series. I'm not going to get into the synopsis because again it's the third book in a series, but if you are a Brandon Sanderson fan um, and you haven't checked out the series yet, maybe get started now so that way by the time it comes out on November 14th you will be ready for it. Next up I have Witchwood by Tara Mafi. This is the second book in the Furthermore series. Furthermore which is the, also the name of the first book in the series, came out last year I believe. Tara Mafi is one of those big YA authors so if you are a fan of hers the second book in the series is coming out. The covers are just absolutely gorgeous. I feel like reading them just because of the way that they look honestly. They are such beautiful beautiful covers. So if you read Furthermore last year and you really enjoyed it, Witchwood is coming out on November 14th so you can look forward to that. And then finally coming out on November 14th we have Future Home of the Living God by Louise Erdrich. This one sounds completely different from the other Louise Erdrich books, at least that I'm aware of. Um, this is actually a dystopian book where women are giving birth to infants that seem like they're coming from like a primitive 
form of human beings. It seems like evolution is like reversing in this world or something along those lines. And you are following this character named Cedar and she's adapted. And so she ends up giving birth to one of these sort of primitive infants. And she also realizes that she wants to find her birth parents and try to figure out sort of like what's going on and wants to know more about her like biological side of her family. Yeah, like I said, it sounds super, super different than anything that Louise Erdrich has put out, at least recently. But it sounds really interesting and the world that she creates sounds like it could potentially have obviously parallels to the world that we're living in now. So yeah, that is Future Home of the Living God and that comes out on November 14th as well. So yeah, that's everything that I have for this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below whether you are looking forward to any of these books or there are any other books coming out in November that you are really excited about. So yeah, that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!